Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back to Grace Blossoms for You. Today I wanted to play around with my jelly plate. It's a little bit discolored. That doesn't bother me. It's not gonna um, have a negative effect or anything. So um, I wanna play with my inks today though. And I have a color combo that I want to start with, and that is blue, light, light blue, and a darker blue. So this one, speckled egg. go chip sapphire. I'm just gonna put these out so I know what I have. Okay, so I have these um, projects that I've worked on and they need some help. Um, some have things already on them like this one actually blue might not be the greatest color I used a master board but I really don't like the back the front's okay but I don't like the back so I was thinking of putting something on there but maybe I will pick out some other colors I think I don't need a lot, so what I like to do, and I found this by accident actually, you can tap it on there real gently and then, I don't know, pick a green. It shouldn't look like Christmas too much, I don't think. All right, so put something on your jelly plate and then put your project on there that you want to have um, some color on. And then peel it off. And it kind of does look like Christmas. Oops. Not really, though, because it's not the right shade of red. It's darker. And it actually pulled off a lot. Like, I didn't realize there was that much ink on there. But that's okay. I'll just clean up what I can. But yeah, see that already looks better. There's something on there and it's not just blank. So I think for the rest of it, I'm just gonna ink it and maybe I will put something else there. This was, I think, one of my first tags that I made, so. Yeah, it needs a it needs a focal point there. Something like that. I kind of like that. What have I got? I've got my Fabrifix or my high tack here. This works on fabric as well. Fabri-Tac is very expensive here, so I didn't get any. This is unique high tech bonds, fabric, ribbon, canvas, paper, cardboard, styrofoam, wood, ceramics, fast setting, dries clear, non toxic. And yeah, it's called high tech. And I think I got it on Amazon. Not a plug, just in case you're curious. There, that looks so much better to me already. I'm gonna put that in my done file now. 
All right, so there was that project. Then I made these little tags and how I did that was I wrapped wood page around a piece of chipboard and so they've just been sitting. So I'm just gonna try. Now I'm making patterns because I can. And it comes up and see the leftover ink from before is still on there too. Cool. You really can't go wrong with this stuff. It just, I'm finding the inks are really forgiving. I mean, you might not think they go together, but somehow, I don't know how they did it. Did they test all the colors to see if they would go well together? Maybe they did, but. So far they look great and um, that's one side I don't have to do anything else too so I can just come in and I don't know do I want to do something with that side it's amazing there's still so much ink left on there I mean book page soaks up stuff like nobody's business So it's, it's not blank anymore, right? It, you could still decorate it, but it's not so bland. I think that's the word I'm looking for, bland. All right, so this one, I want to kind of do like a gradient. I've done this before, but it was kind of an accident. So well, let's see if I can have that happy accident again. Can I go? Oh, I don't think I did a big enough spot. And maybe I need to do that for a more graduated look. Let's see what happens. There's still some red on there. But I like the design I get. It's it's unique. And like I said, with the colors, I don't know how they did it, but you can't seem to put a bad color on there. So you get a bit of the gradient. You got the dark blue and then the light blue, and then it fades to the stuff that was left over from before. So let's see. I put the blue in the middle because last time I had the dark and then I have another I have another one here and again I didn't go far enough that there something like that so you got the lighter one I mean I would need to practice more I guess to get to duplicate that look I had in the first place But yeah, I like that color combo. And then I have this paper. I just wanted to see if it would do anything. It looks not bad actually.
So yeah, I'm just keeping going until I have the color removed that I want so that I can put something different down. Okay, I might actually keep that out to experiment with. I also have, I have the inks in bottle form and I have some that I haven't opened yet. Okay, so this is what's called faded jeans. All right, so that is two colors I want to play with. So I'm just going to spritz it with a little bit of water. Why? I don't know. Um, I want to kind of disperse those. And maybe I'll try something with my... That straw technique might have worked really well. Alas, I have no straw right here. Okay, let's try that. And then see. I have these coffee dyed index cards, which I'm not loving. So let's try. Oh, ha. that should have been a given. <laughs> okay, so I'm just goofing around, obviously. If I was serious, I wouldn't be laughing. But okay, so that goes through both sides. Mm. I probably will stick to doing the ink pads because that's more... It's more pleasing to my I mean if you like ink blots <laughs> there you go I'm not too crazy about them so and I don't know how I would use this now except maybe for I don't know I might have to take it to the acrylic paint section. But, or I might have to put some decent lined paper on the front of it now. Anyways, there's that. Okay, so that didn't really work out the way I wanted. Alright, let's play with these some more. Then I got different greens. Have a yellow. Ooh. Juicy. Some of these are obviously juicier than others. Okay, so green, yellow. I don't have an orange. I do have this light brown. All right, let's see the difference. We'll keep trying to keep the lined part. Yeah, so you do kind of get the pattern that you put down, which can be cool too, because I just thought of something I'd like to try. Okay, so that at least gives you a background that you can start decorating. Sometimes it's easier to put stuff down on paper when it's not just white. All right, so there's that. All right, so I have this and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with it here. Actually, I should have done that differently. I'm going to 
accidentally waste ink doing it this way. Um, let's do a couple of layers of different greens here. Okay, so if I put this down and then put something down that I want color on, Something like that, that works. And just keep going. I like it when you clean it up because you just get more color. Makes a bit of a grunge effect, but sometimes I like a little grunge. Especially if I'm going to come back and decorate it with something else yet. Okay, so there's that. Not bad. And then what I was thinking, because now I got ink on that. And I'm not planning to keep this, so that's kind of not to my liking. However, try this if there's a reverse pattern. Yeah, I got the reverse pattern. Where the circles are, that's blank now. And then where the stencil was, I got the mark of the stencil. So that's kind of interesting. Okay. So not all was lost there. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to put this down first, see if there's anything residual left on the other side. Then I'm going to put this down. And then, I'm just thinking of colors, I'll be fine. But you wouldn't need a jelly roll for this, obviously. It's just putting ink in the blank spots there. This is just stenciling with ink. I really like the speckled egg because though it is a light color, it's almost, well, yeah, it comes across opaque. So. All right, so there you have something. That looks a little different. So, um, I don't know if I like the, maybe I just need to play around with the stencils a bit more, but then, you know, that would actually help layer because then if I wanted to come and I don't know, try this purple. If there's anything left in here. That might give it a background. Look at that. It didn't look like there was anything on there and yet by the looks of the paper, there was a thought. That was the um, milled lavender. So, there you go. All right, what else have I got that I wanna... Oh yes, my strip of um, you know, your name. <laughs> I can't think of the name. Uh, logo, sure. Um, I wanted to give that some color and I don't know, I think I'm going to go with the blues.
and that will be quite dark or bright I should say and if I want a two-tone blue with green maybe Oops, I just contaminated my green with the blue. I'm going to try and get some of that off. <laughs> oh, well, that's all good. Okay, so then I'll do one strip here. And two, I wouldn't have to press so hard. Yeah, I like that. Because then they're not so plain. I can still read them. And then I can do different colors and then I can um, coordinate them better. So there's that idea. Do I have any more? I do. I printed out a whole sheet. Okay, so different color. Um, that was blue and green. How about... And I really like the, the little pattern I get with these um, little squares to make it look like a diamond. So blue, and I'm going to go with the tattered rose. Let's try it. So, okay, that's a little dark on the blue, but that's okay. And two, it's still picking up stuff that I had there before, which is not bad. I don't mind that. Okay, not too crazy about the tattered rose color. I hope I didn't get any more. Oh no, I did. I got a whole bottle sitting there. Why did I think it would be a pretty color? Because <laughs> it was supposed to be pink. That's why. Okay. Pink, but not too pink. Too pink or not too pink. It's no longer a question. <laughs> okay, what else? I've got one more here with my logo. And then I'll probably stop. Um... What if we go make a different kind of a pattern? Doot, 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 doot. Let's try the lavender. Remember, the lavender is deceptive because it comes out darker. All right. Uh, I should have done the big one first. How about this one? Okay. Sorry, it seems to be playtime today. Ooh! <laughs> I just went really lightly with my fingers on top of that page. I like it. This is actually my favorite one so far. So 
Oh yeah. That's nice. I like that one. So then when I cut them into strips and make labels out of them, that'll be cool. All right, did I have anything? Oh yes, I had one other thing I wanted to try. I'm just gonna see if there's anything left on here. This is my own sticker. I take label paper and then I draw on, with black ink. And I just wanted to see if there was anything kind of left on there to give it a grunge because it's really hard to coffee dye this paper and still want it to remain sticky, so. So this jelly plate is an eight by 10. It was as much as I wanted to, well, it was actually more than I wanted to spend, but the one I would have considered big enough for journaling was the 12 by 12. And I couldn't justify that price, so. Um, I got this eight by 10 and it works if you clean up around the edges. I mean, you don't get as great of a print on the edge as you do everywhere else, but it's okay. It works. You make it work. And two, I'm glad I got my jelly plate because uh, I get a lot of leftover papers mm. from work and I hate throwing them out in the garbage. So I found that with this jelly plate, see this is a piece of paper from work and it's got writing on the one side. So what I found is that with the jelly roll and acrylic paint, I can, um, I can cover all the writing and then I can use this as a journal page. So it is very convenient that way. All right, so I got a little bit of color on this and that's fine. I might, I might do some more or I might just leave it and see how I like it. It's a little bit grungy, which is fine. You do either want to use gloves or not care that your fingers get dirty because it is playing. So, yeah. So I don't know, did you like that? Did you want to see more? Let me know in the comments, please, because it's nice to know what people like, what they don't. All right, so God bless you guys, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.